Da, 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 da. Hey there, everyone. This is how Cow is the advent. It's December 14 at 7 twice. I bet you didn't know that. Today's a digital day. And so, you know, whenever I, I it's a digital day, I sort of like open up the folder and whatnot. And I immediately saw that all it contained here under day 14 quadro, as you can see here. Uh, is that uh, it's a Quadro Google Drive link. So I opened that ahead of time to see what it was. And indeed, all it contained was a Google Drive link. So I opened it. So I did that. I, I did not do that on camera because I don't know if they want this drive to be shared or whatever. And it leads to this. And it's kind of complicated. Isn't it? Like, I don't know what matters. I guess letter is what matters the most. So let's start with that and maybe we'll have instructions from there. Hello again, Rao. Merry Christmas. I'm actually writing this days before you're supposed to get my gift. I'm not even 100% sure you're gonna see it. So if you're reading this, hi, I'm E. I also go by Quadro and Man of Men. I honestly don't really like writing really open letters for stuff like this. It makes me feel awkward, like it's supposed to be all about Christmas fun times. I'm dragging you down my personal drama. I saw that guy give his video and letter and decided, heck it, better to let it into the open and keep it inside and let it fester some kind of intestinal disease. My intestines have enough to worry about. I'm just kind of looking where, where, where the camera ends here. Just make sure everything stays on the camera. I've been through a lot. I finished trucking school and got my license, but lasted less than a month with my first company. They thought I wasn't mentally fit enough and sent me home. And this was after I told them I had autism, so I was pretty suspicious and honestly offended. Over-the-road trucking is a major lifestyle adjustment. I just couldn't make it work. Which really bummed me out because I spent so much time and money and what amounted to a small vacation. Oh, man, that's rough. That's rough, dude. This is a fun fact. One of my uncle was a driver for a while. And yeah, like, you do not live as a normal person while you are trucking. Like, yeah you'd become a different, like, sort of person. So I got a new job with a shipping company that I'm not going to name because I'm just that paranoid. Hey, fair enough. You don't have to justify that. And somehow I messed up and ended up in their warehouse and not driving their trucks. And I can't easily transfer over because they're technically two different companies or just different departments. I honestly forgot the distinction. Oops. Oh, man, dude, this is not working out. Working there is kind of a mixed bag. At first, I wasn't getting too many hours. I would be scheduled for 30 plus hours and couldn't get 20 because I was let go early so many times. But now it's just exhausting and honestly boring. Call me selfish and conceited. I don't want to work in a place just like this forever. I want to get a job I actually like. Or at least one that gives me the hours I want. I mean, again, I do not believe this is selfish or conceited. You have one life to live and desiring, you know, some amount of quality is the exact opposite of selfishness. Uh, plus, I'm noticing a little cuts and bruises on my body and I'm not sure how I got. Heck, and just one day I got my hand cut, my leg bruised and my back sore. Uh, that's not a word, but it's fine. I get it. Don't worry. I'm all right. The event was more scary than damaging. Once this month ends, I'm going to try to get super serious about finding a new job. Heck, I might even try trucking again. Pray for my mortal soul, please, Rao. Honestly, I do hope you get it. Like, like I said, if you become a trucker, that changes your entire life. You become a non-standard human. But if you're okay with it, it is my understanding that it can be extremely fulfilling. So like, I do hope you get it. I hope you land it, buddy. Job haunting is honestly kind of scary for me. I'm just terrified of failing and letting people down. I know that I have friends and family looking out for me, that almost every company has at least a few nice people, but it's still so hard to get out of my own head. Anyway, sorry for unloading all that on you. Thank you for all the good times and feeling you gave me throughout the year. I'm glad to send you another gift this year. It is art. I'm very creative. <laughs> The same way that I'm very good at English. I'm very creative and original. I know. I do hope you like it. The artists definitely put a lot of work into it. Thanks for everything. 
Quadro. Postscriptum. Everyone PSs on these letters. It's great. It's the, it's the post game of letter writing. There should be another art thing coming. The artist is taking her time with it. But she's been going through some in real life stuff too. When it comes, I'll email it to you. Like, like yeah, I remember that last year. Yeah, and there, there, there was like a few no shows, which was really unfortunate. Bonus fun fact: for the second year in a row, I had a very specific and odd idea for a drawing, but didn't get it. This time, I actually found someone was willing to do it, but it would have cost $100. Uh, that was just for a sketch, too. Ugh, no offense to you. Money's kind of tight right now. Maybe next year's, fingers crossed. No, dude, dude, don't. No. Like, I get it. I, I, uh, I get it. <laughs> there is, there is, I do not expect anyone to spend $100 ruse on the advents. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, like, I get it. Do not worry about this, buddy. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here, but I guess all of these are art. Let's go like this. Why not? From bottom to top. Hey, you know what? Let's go in order. Let's go in order they were uploaded. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Iris Icon 1. Check it out. It's Iris. She took a bite of the cactus. I mean... <laughs> I mean, sure, like, yeah, there are power-ups, there are food. The fact that there are shoulders, or, like, what used to be shoulders in terms of evolution, is kind of freaky. Okay, wow, pretty sweet flat art there. So then you got demo, post, A2MT. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, that's bleach, bleach demo. Got it. Why put... After SMBXT2, yeah, she became a Shimigami. I get it. That makes a lot of sense. Demo got you a gift. Oh, look at that. She's right in a box. Her gift is herself. And there's a wreath and a bell. Yeah, it's a Christmas bell. I understand everything. Oh, man, I love just a variety of style here. And there's whip one. Okay, some sketches going around. Yeah, see this, you know, this is where the gift is, would be. There's the wreath, I guess. Yeah, there's the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like all the pieces being put together. This is like this is like the background. See the general shape? Demo is two circles that you squish a little bit. And then you add a whole bunch of stuff over it. That is accurate. I'm going to read after demo post ACMBX2, which is the last thing I'm going to interact with. Commissioner's note. Originally, the idea for this pick was to have Demo dressed as Jimi Hendrix, but the artist uh, thought it was a bit too complicated and asked for something simpler. So I thought, hmm, what's something kind of simple? Oh, I know, the Shinigami from Bleach. They just wear all black. That is super simple. And that's how we got here. And then I went, oh. Oh, and then I went, oh. And a smug smile appeared on my face. It wasn't my smile, though. Which was kind of weird. I I should just end the video right there. This is the perfect time to end the video. But I'm not, clearly. All right, Quadro. This is, this was, I, look. The fact that you were willing to open up like that, I think, is, is beautiful. Like, you know, uh, it takes a lot to share that kind of thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm confident you'll find a way out of your situation. But it might require some work. And I know it's scary, but it's always worth it. Thank you for just, like, planning all this. I'm looking forward to the future work that we're commissioned. Like, thank you very much. Just, just the thought and the words and everything together. I love it. Thank you. And you know what? Since I'm recording this digitally, anyways, let, let's just kind of just slip right into the ambushes. Like, the reason I do the ambushes separately is because I don't want to, like, film my screen and then walk around like I used to do in, in previous years. Just make them two separate things. But since we're digitally, anyways, uh, oh my gosh, our three ambushes. I, I scrolled down so I could get the, the, the things ready, the trailers ready, but then I didn't scroll back up, so we got a bit of a preview. Raokao! 
Do you have 611 cats? Getting back will be tough. Enjoy Fusion Warrior. I do not have 611 cats. This may come as a shock. The game is called... I don't have any cats right now, actually. Game is called Ever Seen a Cat? I have, actually, seen at least one cat. A relaxing hidden object game. Find cats in several stylish environments. Every playthrough is different, so I guess they randomize where the cats are hidden. Just like how a real cat actually tend to have their favorite spot that they don't think about. Hey there, guy, says Crispy. Your brother has been kidnapped by a monk. Are you a bad enough rabbit to rescue him? Game on, Chris. Everyone's doing that this year. This year is the bad dude zone. Bad dude Christmas advent. Kaze and the wild mask. <coughs> oh, throat. I'm pretty sure that I've had put this under my fast before. My fast, my face before. Go on a journey as Kaze in this 90s classic inspired platformer. When the Crystal Islands get cursed, Kaze needs to save her friends Hogo while racing, uh, facing enraged living vegetables. Find a wild mask to unleash the powers of the legendary guardians in Masterland, Sky, and Sea. Kaze, which uh, I believe means wind, uh, and a wild mask, which I believe means and the wild mask. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing the trailer for that one. And Flubman just kind of came in here yesterday. It was like, how oh, cow? So I heard you lost your duck. Enjoy, Flubman. <laughs> More ducks, please. The overwhelmingly renowned base game, Pla Pla Placid Plastic Duck, plus the highly anticipated DLC, Ducks, please. Truly. Truly. <laughs> I am blessed on this beautiful, somewhat cold December morning. Okay. All right. Well, let's go check out on that. Ever seen a cat? I have, actually. Oh, yeah. Look at that little paw icon. That's where the mouse is. This is extremely like a castle full of cat, isn't it? Is it the same creator? How many find a cat game have they made? I don't know. I, I saw one that, that wasn't clicked on. Nine! Look, that is a lot, lot of cat, though. Like, that might be a bit a lot of cat. Whoa. This cat has feet, but no legs. Congratulations. It's hard to be a slime cat in this day and age. All right, but okay. So here we got Kaze. Lots of things. Um... Launch trailer, sure, that suits me. Rated E for everyone. Rated E for mild fantasy violence, actually. Sodesco and Pixel Hive. All right, I don't think this is gameplay. This is the cutscene, probably. I don't know why I'm saying this out loud. Like it was meaningful. I do hope we get the gameplay, though. All right, find a ring. Then it zaps. It's like, oh no, this is bad. Whoa, would you tie your ears in a braid? Like, I get. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was a bad time. That was confusing. Hey, check it out. Yeah, here we go. Classic 2D platformer. Got the spin. Got muscles in your ears that let you grab onto things. And then this is happening and it turns to a bird or a shark. Oh, this looks really cool actually. This looks like absolutely rad. That that monster is having a terrible time. And it turned okay, yeah, that's right, they're vegetables. Vegetables are full of minerals. Kaze and the wild Oh yes, yeah, so you see she got shark form and bird and tiger and also an iguana. That looks fantastic, honestly. Like that that's a type of game that reaches like right inside my brain. It's like, oh no, yeah. Is it already in my list? I'm not sure it is. I need to check. If it's not, I need to add it. Like, absolutely. Kazi and the wild masks. And then plastic, placid, plastic duck. So I was looking for more ducks, please. And I saw this here that had the same a similar icon. Uh, trailer, thumbnail, whatever, box art. But then I didn't read the text at the time, of course, right? Because I don't read them ahead of time. But yeah, Pla Pla Placid Plastic Duck is the is a real game, and More Duck is a seal. Placid speed. Plastic Duck Simulator. This game was two year on Steam, 
And the reason it caught my interest. Oh wait, so this is not a trailer. Me, this is a gameplay of, of something. Are overwhelmingly positive, with people who have sunk like. 20 okay, well I don't. I don't. I don't want to watch another person's video. I was hoping it'd be a. Uh, if I did a weird cut, it's because that there might have been like like when I returned to my Firefox homepage. Uh, there's personally identifying information there, and I had to just kind of not show that. <laughs> All right, sounds great. I want to see the trailer. That will be on the store page. That's how that works. Oh boy, that's a gross sound I made. Float around without a care in the world. You have nothing to do. You are a plastic plastic duck. The plastic Great. plastic docks are made in Italy from 100% polymers obtained from Mediterranean plants. Well, that's great. Explore and collect a curated selection of billions of small rubber ducks of all colors, shapes, and forms. I love forms. In the bathtub, in the pool, in the sea, you will do nothing but pleasantly float. All right. Forget the problems of everyday life and relax just like a real plastic plastic duck. It's a game made for me. Overwhelmingly positive. Of course it is. Well, that dug's on fire. I say that as if it was ever impossible to miss. Look, I gotta point it out. I'm an intern. Whoa, that one's a skeleton. That's spooky.